Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. You know, sometimes people file things in court or in whatever private tribunal just to do so. Just so people on the outside can hear, hey, he's fighting the charges. Okay, great. Tom Brady has had his glorious moment where he's done that in response to these ironclad allegations right let me say this if Tom Brady wins his appeal and if this four game suspension goes away that's gonna be the worst possible thing to happen to Tom Brady I mean understand we'll forgive a guy who you know has been disciplined was outside of the lines and now has been brought back into the lines right has been hit with some time and then goes ahead and serves it. Then we could say, okay, you know what? You put your hand in the cookie jar, you got it slapped. Okay, fine. Let's move forward. Right? I mean, the person who benefits the most from Tom Brady's four game suspension, which I consider to be incredibly light, is Tom Brady. Right? You've been penalized. Okay, you know, we can call it whatever we want. A penalty about the crime or a penalty about the cover-up, okay, fine. You could say whatever you want about all of that. But the idea that Tom Brady could be involved in a scheme to deflate football, something you couldn't even imagine with Montana or Unitas or Otto Graham, the other guys in his neighborhood, right? For Tom Brady to do that, get a Super Bowl ring after doing that, and then not get punished... Folks, that would be the worst thing imaginable for the Tom Brady brand. Right? That would be the worst thing imaginable. Now, this isn't quite the perfect analogy, but I'll say this. In a way, it's almost like the O.J. Simpson criminal case. Right? O.J. was accused of a terrible crime. Now, just my own opinion, I personally feel he's guilty. Now, had O.J., after this terrible crime, that hinted of premeditated murder, right? We're talking about having a ski cap on in June in Los Angeles. We're talking about having gloves on in June in Los Angeles. We're talking about being in the bushes. Okay, being in the bushes with a knife? Come on now. Come on now. What did O.J. think was going to happen when he takes out his knife? Right? Now, my point is simply this. As bad as the facts are in terms of premeditation, had O.J. Simpson been found guilty of manslaughter or something like that, you know what? There's a group of people out there who would have said, okay, you know what? He's been punished. He's been publicly shamed. Right? If he spent eight years in prison or whatever, when he gets out, there'd be a group that would say, you know what, he did his time. Right? But when you heard that O.J. Simpson wasn't going to serve any time for this, he became a social pariah. So too it is with Tom Brady. Some of the arguments, by the way, being raised by the Patriots and by Brady are foolishness. Now I'm supposed to hear that the guy who called himself the deflator was talking about his weight right wasn't talking about footballs give me a break understand in some of these text messages the guy even says hey don't worry I'm not gonna run to TMZ just yet now who would care whether he ran to TMZ or not if his deflation was about his personal weight loss no he's saying he won't run to TMZ because it's about something that matters to us. Deflating footballs for NFL games. So let me say this. I hope this appeal by Tom Brady is a token appeal. I hope it's just Tom wanting the history books to show that he was a little bit outraged. He was a little bit indignant at the four-game suspension. Right? I hope Tom doesn't seriously think he's going to win. 
I hope Tom realizes, even if it looks like he's going to win, that he needs to say to the NFL, give me some time. Right? Because I don't want to be OJ. I don't want to look like I've beaten the system, gotten a ring, cheated, not cooperated with an NFL investigation, at least not enough to give them my phone or even a list of my calls or texts. Think about that. Right? Tom doesn't want to be the guy who has gotten over on the system. Quite frankly, he's already gotten over. Right? Because who knows whether they would have won some of the games that they won without deflated footballs. Wasn't that Raven playoff game close? Aren't the arguments being raised in the brief simply a you don't have enough proof type of thing? Right? Keep in mind, the text messages date back to October. According to the text, Tom was upset with the inflation of the footballs after the Jet game. Think about it too. During that period of time, they played the Colts in the regular season. It's the Colts who tipped off the league in an email that said it's widely known around the league that the Patriots are doing things with the football. Right? So, Tom, let me just say this. You need to tap your lawyers on the shoulder and say, you know what, for the good of the game, for the good of my brand, I'm going to take the four games. After all, the stuff I was doing last year got me a ring, didn't it? The message I want to send to kids is, if you have your hand in the cookie jar and you get busted, accept the punishment. Any other message is going to have people like me thinking, man, this dude's a complete sham. This dude breaks the rules, pretends that he doesn't know what it's about, lies to the press, gets busted, and then goes out of his way to beat the system. That's not a dude to cheer for. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.